side of the football for Delaware versus Maine this season back on September the 2nd. They both had 100 yards in the same game. First throwing play is intercepted. Rhode Island's defense, it's Jordan Jones. His third interception in as many games. Zach Quinn starts off his first start with an interception. Rhode Island's defense sets the Rams up on the Delaware side of the field. Scoring opponents 38 to nothing on points off of turnovers. Second down look for Hill. His first throw is complete to Joey Kenny. A fullback slash tight end that enters his sixth season in Kingston. As Henley and Joe Zubalaga make up the secondary. Rhode Island again goes to Justice Antrim. They're going to continue to pound the ball. Antrim has been so good this season. Again, one of three running backs at the top of the conference. Again, last week, Rhode Island got the victory over Stony Brook. They hand it off to Antrim, and I think he's bottled up. Great play from the... Front group for Delaware. This one, he will tie for the most field goals in school history. This one is up and through, and a no-doubter. C.J. Carrick continues to write history here in Kingston, and he gives Rhode Island the three-nothing lead, third and six. Rhode Island needs to get on the Delaware side of the field for a first down to continue this drive. They're one for one on this drive on third down. Hill waits, he's got some pressure. Hill steps up, and he's got a lot of room to run. Kasim Hill out past the 40, he's out of bounds, and a first down run for Kasim Hill to keep the play and the drive alive. Day, but now a third and four. Warren goes in motion in the backfield. Hill waits, Hill throws it, looking end zone for Ivory Frimpong, and it's intercepted. Running stride for stride with Frimpong was Amante Struthers. Day has been kind of slow, but Rhode Island's also possessed the football for majority of the first quarter. Lee on the ground again and Maxson ties him up but he broke into the secondary. It's a first down rush for Delaware. It's something where you show up, you rep it before practice, you rep it after practice so in the game when you need it you can make that big play. Third and one and they go to Paoletti. Into the backfield is Lee. The weapon for Delaware. Quinn is going to throw it and he's got a man. Completion and a first down. And that's Brett Buckman. Play clock down to seven. Quinn takes it. Hands it off, and it's a first down carry for Lee, who spins away from the first rush of Rams. And now Rhode Island secondary finally bottles him up. For the hands. Snap is down, the kick is up, and the kick is no good. He missed oh. it to the left. Only 13 pass yards for Rhode Island. Throwing it, Pyers got it, turning up field. It's a first down conversion. They go through the air that time. 49 yard line for a first down. Snap back, thrown. Ivory Frimpong catches it and he needed five yards. He got six. Hill. Hill waits, some pressure. Picked up nicely by Antrim. Hill rolls out, he throws it and he's got Matt Pyers. That play starts all the way back at the line of scrimmage though as Justice Antrim had to pick up a linebacker. They were in a very similar situation there last drive when Kasim Hill threw just his second interception of the season. He's got Warren though. Nice NFL style catch as he toe tapped a couple times, stayed in bounds. It's a first down conversion to the tight end, Caleb Warren. Kasim Hill looks hard to Antrim in the flats, which opens up Caleb Warren on the corner route or short corner route. Two top 25 teams and it's second and goal now. Hill. Follows his blockers. Hill spinning towards the end zone, and it's a touchdown. URI. Ball down. Kick is up, and the kick is no good. Delaware did move the ball there last drive. It was the first field goal miss of the season for Ryan Coe that ended the drive. Quinn throws it over the middle, and it's intercepted. Rhode Island's Henry Yannakopoulos with the second INT of the game for Rhode Island's defense. And URI now with three timeouts will have a chance to extend this lead. Goes up one hand and tips it to himself. As you see right here, ball flies high. One hand remains. Third and eight though. On this offensive drive for Rhode Island after the interception for the Rhode Island defense. Hill steps up. Hill's gonna try to do it with his legs. He juked out. Colby Reeder, and I think he dove forward enough for the first down. On the ground today. Touchdown last week through the air as he's got Ivory Frimpong, whose first reception of the game is a big one inside the red zone. Allen's first half lead. 
Snap is down, kick is up, and the kick is well through. C.J. Carrick drills it. He now stands alone with his 39th made field goal, most field goals in the history of URI football. Paoletti has not thrown the ball yet in this game. Delaware has only gone to the air seven times, all by Zach Gwynn. Paoletti gets ripped up here by L.B. Mack, but delighted. Paoletti back in there, he hands it off, and nice run there for a first down, and that's Lee. Scrimmage leads the one man in the backfield. Quinn going to throw this one. He's got a man out, and first down reception, that's Pitts. Centers Gwynn, number 12. And Gwynn's going to keep it, and he needed one yard, and I think he got it. Ryland's second half opening drive, and now piece this together. Quinn, he gets rocked, he throws it, he's got a man, and it's Pitts! Who's tackled into the end zone and will wait. Touchdown, Delaware. Thyrick Pitts reels in the touchdown. Zach Gwynn held his own in the pocket, took a big hit, and finds Pitts for a touchdown grab. Delaware fans holding their breath as they see this one go up. The last time was a pick, and this time on target, taking the hit in the pocket, showing that he's got some grit. You are right, right back up to the line. Second and seven, and Hill keeps it. Hill upfield, and he's fighting for the 50-yard line. He might have a first down, seven-yard run for Kasim Hill. Go the Rams, first and 10 from the 50. Hill, play action. Hill, clean pocket, throws it over. Down the middle of the field, and Caleb Warren reels it in at the 20. A 30-yard completion. Ball snap, ball down, kick is up, and that ball is blocked. That ball is blocked by the Delaware Blue Hens. A big play up the sideline. Still in bounds for Delaware. And no, they're going to mark him well back. Still, nonetheless, a huge swing of events for the Delaware Blue Hens. That one is knocked down, and Nigel Hill was streaking up the near sideline, and he stepped out of bounds, and he points out of it. Delaware gets the ball back on what is the final play here of the third quarter. Big chunk play for maybe 12 yards to end. Rhode Island has had a flair for the dramatic at home this season. We already saw that 27-20 overtime victory for Rhode Island last week. Of course, that 2019 matchup with this Delaware team in triple overtime, rolling out and finding a man down the sideline. Gene Coleman gets the reception, and it's a first down. Don't Freeman Kyle Rowley back on the call here this afternoon in Kingston. Paoletti, the cornerback, gives way to Lee, who's trying to get a field, and he does just that, turns the corner. It's a first down, and that is the Dejon Lee that really has scared Rhode Island over the last couple matchups. Movement as he empties out the backfield. Snap back. Paoletti keeps it himself, and he might have gotten the first down. Snap back, the handoff goes to Watson. Watson breaks the first set of tackles, and he's in for a touchdown. There is on a two-point conversion try. Gwynn hands it off, and Lee into the end zone. Two-point try good, and Delaware up by a full field goal now. 15 to 12, Delaware not only takes the lead, but up after a two-point try, after a close play. Hill waits. Hill looks downfield, he's got Caleb Warren, a big play down the sideline. Warren all the way to the 35 yard line. Hill takes the snap, Hill waits, Hill steps up, big play for Kasim Hill. A first down and you see him just hit the deck. He knows he got the yardage and now will set up a new set of downs for Rhode Island. Snap, hold, kick is up and the kick is through. C.J. Carrick has knotted this game up at 15 points apiece. And James Maxson, number 44 for the Rams. And it's fourth and five now, the punt unit out for Delaware. And this one's blocked! Rhode Island blocks the punt! The ball's loose at the 30! It's scooped up! L.B. Mack to the 10! Touchdown! You can't have a punt block return without the punt block. Great job getting his hands up by B-ball. Nice scoop. Look at the swarm teammates in the end zone. Snap back. Gwynn waits. Gwynn pressured and it's reeled in. A first down completion for Brent Buckman. Snap back. Paolete. Patience. Pushing. And he's got a first down. Whose ending gets remembered? 
Snap back. Gwyn waits. Gwyn throws. He's got oh. a man, and that one's reeled in. Huge catch for Gene Coleman, the second. Lee is emptied out of the backfield. Snap back. Gwyn waits. End zone, and that ball is intercepted. It's picked off. Jordan Jones with his second interception of the game, and he has iced it for URI. It did. took us a while to actually see who came down with it. Jones got good possession. I think, he's, I think he yeah. has it the whole yeah. time. Yeah. Hill under center. Takes the snap. It's only happened three other times in the history of this program. You got to go back to 2001. Before that, 1957. Before that, 1898. For just the fourth time in school history, the University of Rhode Island Rams have began a season a perfect 5-0 as they take down the number nine ranked Delaware Blue Hens 22-15 here at Mead Stadium in Kingston, Rhode Island.